Hello YouTube and welcome to another ESXi tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you some very useful ESXi commands. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know you can configure or set up some uh, actually features or settings into your ESXi server using just graphical user interface. So first of all, let me log on to my server here. And in this video, I'm going to show you some very useful EXCLI commands, okay? So in order to execute these commands, we have first to enable SSH. So I go here to actions, then services, then enable SSH. So here it's already enabled. So all I have to do is to connect to the server using any uh, SSH client, okay? So you can use party or whatever client you want, okay? So let me use my program here, Commander. So I will connect to my ESXi server. Here we go. So I have to provide here the password. So I'm in, okay? So you can see, of course, all the commands that you can execute using just the command ESXCLI. And if you hit enter, you get the usage of this command, okay? So actually this command has a lot of sub commands that we call actually namespaces, okay? So each namespace is related to different settings. So there is, for example, a namespace for hardware, for network, for storage, for and so on. Okay. But here I'm gonna just to show you some basic thing that you can do with this actually ESXCLI commands. So for example, let's begin by the hardware namespace. So I will type the command ESXCLI, then hardware. And also, this uh, namespace has a lot of uh, actually sub commands that we can use. So, for example, if you want to get how much memory does your uh, server has, you can execute this command hardware memory get so you can see how many bytes of physical memory that you have okay you can also do the same if you want to get some information about your CPU all you have to do is substitute the word memory by CPU okay So actually for the CPU we don't use get but we use actually list in order to list all the CPU that you have okay so here you have all the cores into your server okay so for example here you have uh, the family the model the bus speed l2 cache l3 cache and so on okay you can also, for example, get uh, the time or the clock, the hardware clock, but in this case we use clock get. And of course you will get the date and time of your server, okay? So these are all the basic commands for the hardware namespace, okay? So let's move on to, for example, the system settings. Okay, so if you want to get some uh, system settings, we use the command then uh, system. Then here, for example, if you want to get uh, the version that you are using in your ESXi uh, server, 
you type just version then get so as you can see here I'm using version 7.0.3 okay and the patch is 80 okay you can also use the system namespace in order to get the, for example the host name so here all you have to do is substitute the version by host name here we go so the domain name is visfer.local and fully qualified domain name is esx1.visfer.local okay and the host name of course in this case is esx1 okay so let's move some to a very important namespace which is the network namespace okay we can use another command for this uh, namespace network for example ip connection then list so here you will get all the connection or the active connection for your server it's like the net state command that you are using in windows or linux environment okay so it's a very useful command that you can use in order to see all the running connections okay another important or useful command if you want to list all the network cards that your server has you have just to substitute IP by NIC and you use the keyword list here we go so here you have the name the PCI device the driver and statute if it's up or not also you get speed the duplex and of course the MAC address and also the description so it's Intel corporation and here the model version okay so these are all very useful information you can also for example get uh, if you want to see the list of all the VMs that are in your system we substitute NIC by VM here we go here of course it will show just the running one so I have here just one running uh, VM but my server actually have a lot of VMs but they are actually powered off okay you can also show the status of your firewall using the command here firewall inside the network uh, namespace and get so the default action is the drop and the firewall is enabled and loaded okay as you can see here of course these commands can be a little bit uh, difficult to handle for example here I will show you uh, how to get for example the IP addresses of the running VM so as I have shown you I have only one running uh, VM which is CentOS machine if you want to get the IP address you can use for example uh, this command here actually I have to execute three commands in order to get the IP address so first of all I will get uh, what we call a word ID So here this word ID is very important so this command will actually show me the word ID which is uh, 265,719 okay and now I will use another command also in the namespace VM port list minus W then here I have to provide this uh, word ID which is in this case 265,719 okay and actually this word ID 
will allow me to get the MAC address associated with this running VM, which is this one, okay? And I will use this MAC address in order to get the IP address of the running VM using the command also in the namespace network but here I will use IP neighbor then list okay so here I have uh, you have to identify actually this MAC address here so here as you can see in this table I don't have this MAC address so sometimes you have to execute it once again in order to get it here we go so now you can identify the MAC address of the VM and just uh, in front of it you will get actually the IP address okay so if you didn't see actually the MAC address all you have to do is to ping try to ping this uh, VM from another machine in order to get the MAC address so here actually we are exploiting the ARP table from the ESXR in order to get the IP address of the running VM okay so I guess that's enough for the network namespace let's move on for example to the software namespace so in order for example to view the vSphere web so actually web stands for vSphere installation bundle so you can get a list of that using software uh, namespace so I'll use here web list so web stands for vSphere installation bundle so of course here you get all the bundles and with the different versions so the name of the bundle, the version, the vendor, the acceptance level and install date okay so of course here I did show you only some uh, settings we didn't modify any settings I just show you how to get some information about your uh, system but of course you can use ESXCLI commands in order for example to configure settings you can for example add users set up password and so on but in this video I wanted just to show you some very useful uh, ESXCLI commands to view your running configuration as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.